Hi guys, um, oh my gosh, I still haven't taken a shower yet, it's 10.45 now in the evening on Friday, October the 5th, um, just wanted to show you guys, it's good, I'm happy, okay, um, these are the papaya pieces that I gave them, that I bought in a previous video, I showed you guys what I bought when I picked up the guinea pigs, um, there were six pieces in here, so as you can see, there's one, two, three, four left, and there's two half-eaten pieces. Uh, so I anticipate a maximum of two per guinea pig, but it's not fixed, but I didn't want them to have fight over, and I wanted everyone to get a chance to have one. So I figured that the most they might eat is about three, so at least it might have enough for at least everyone to have at least one piece. That's what I'm going for. Um, and then as for these um, uh, nibble rings, um, they're made with alfalfa which is another reason I got these um, was that these I got for vitamin C because they have vitamin C in these ones uh, these are not your KT ones so the sun seeds they actually says vitamin C on them which is why I got them um, and these ones are alfalfa ones um, they're not Timothy they're only alfalfa so it's good and I put uh, so I put six of these in uh, and I put nine of these in um, and there's one two three uh, four, five, six, so seven, eight, nine. So nobody's eaten any of the nibble rings yet, probably because those are more healthy. Um, but somebody obviously did take a good chew of these ones. There's two pieces there left. So one of these were originally like this, and now it's just this little tiny little piece left. So that's pretty good. And um, somebody is eating something from here. I don't know what they're eating, but um, oh, so they ate these, I guess. I don't know. I'm actually going to redo this whole tray. I'm going to take these things out because uh, I don't think they're suitable for baby guinea pigs. Um, oh, oh wow. Okay, I know what they ate. Um, they ate the yogurt. Um, they probably didn't eat these. They just bit them. Oh, no, they did. Okay, they weren't that small. Um, they ate the yogurt bar. You know the yellow KT yogurt bars? The, the really high fat ones? They ate it. Okay. Probably because it's got dairy in it, which might mean they actually might want to eat the Timothy yogurt drops, uh, nut yogurt drops. Um, um, they have like Timothy inside and then it's dipped in yogurt on the outside. They probably might like those. Mocha liked them, but Mocha wasn't a baby either. I'm hesitant to give them too many treats just because I don't know if they'll stop eating their food. I don't want to discourage them from eating this stuff because they are still growing and also because they are very, very young right now. They're not even supposed to leave mom yet. They're not supposed to leave mom at bare minimum until um, sun Sunday. So today is only Friday. So I've already taken them a couple of days early. So I really don't want to feed them too much junk food. Um, but I just didn't clear out the bowl, and I didn't anticipate they would eat any of this stuff. But um, apparently they are. They ate all the sugary stuff. <laughs> I got some sweet tooth in here. Yes, make a run for it. Go. <laughs> um, but for now, the only thing... I really shouldn't have any treat bowl in here, actually. I should have two food bowls, actually. Um, you know what, I put these in a Ziploc bag, and I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to split this food up into two bowls. There'll be less food in one bowl, but that's okay. Um, I actually like it when it's really full, but um, I guess that's okay. Um, have not decided yet on the other guinea pig. Um, I will give it some thought while I'm in the shower. See, everybody knows to come through that tunnel. I think that's really cute. It looks like she's caught in the headlights like a deer. She just stopped when I moved the camera. Um, but uh, there's one stuck in traffic, see? They just don't know how to turn their heads around around that idea and come up here. But um, they all have been taught to go through the tunnel, so I guess that's all they know how to do. <laughs> um, I'm hoping that with time they'll just figure out they can go through anything. It's just I taught them that way, but... I didn't, they didn't have to. They don't have to go through that side. It's just that's the side I happen to teach them. I really like it when they mingle together. Um, so I'll think about the idea of getting one more. And if I do, that means I've really got to get up early. Because um, I want to get a good choice at the pet shop. Um, I'll give it some thought. Um, 
obviously if I buy the guinea pig today, um, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to actually pay the bill as well. Um, I will pay the bill uh, probably when I get home, if I remember, if I'm not overly excited. Uh, but yeah, you can see f clearly from here that that guy is clearly bigger than the other guys. Just way bigger. Oh, and I figured out where they're peeing. They're peeing right here. You can see it's a different color. And they're peeing in here, which is fine too. Um, well, I can't say it's not fine, but um, I don't. I don't like pee bedding um, with the water dish because that can get really gross really fast. So I'm just going to push the bedding out and just scatter it here. And hopefully they learn to pee here. That's why the bedding is in between the bowls. Otherwise, I put all the bowls together. And it's, I want them to pee in between so they're not peeing in their food dish um, so they don't feel trapped. Um, look at this. They look so guilty. Oh, this will make a good photo. This will make a very good photo sometime when I do take a photo of this out of the video. Everybody's looking at me. Look at them. They look so guilty. <gasps> and I like how they're all sitting there. Now, if only the last one, the boy here, would move. It's like, oh, yes, yes, clean yourself, clean yourself. Anyways, I gotta go take a shower. We'll give you guys more videos tomorrow, okay? Night guys. Night babies.